All right, here we are near Dorchester, and we're up on a mountain. A very strange location compared to most we've been to. We can literally drive to this at it. Um, it's in the middle of this open clearing. Lots of tracks here and stuff. But look at this open mouth right here in the ground. And that's where we're heading in. We suspect this is a copper mine. Again, it doesn't really have an official name. All right, here we are at the mouth. The boys have already gone in, but uh, it's from what I'm being told on the radio, it is a, uh, it's a decline. It goes downhill. This is, what, why? You're gonna talk to me on the radio while I'm videotaping? <laughs> Okay, and it just ends down there? I'm at the bottom. All right, so here's looking down, and it's a decline. It goes downhill. It's probably a 35, 40 degree angle. It's big. It's a bigger, bigger opening than I had expected. Big flat slabs on the ceiling. But uh, we'll make our way down. see the boys down there with the flashlights already and people have gotten this far before obviously there's garbage so this is known there's looking back up to the, the portal some interesting uh, interesting moss on the, uh, the ceiling here here's looking at the walls on the way down and uh, Here's up to the ceiling, these flat slabs of uh, rock, and you can see them going along there. It's almost like they're placed that way, like they're sitting across. Here's what looks like a bunch of slab falls from the ceiling, again. The ceiling's like flat as a pancake. There's uh, evidence of a, a ladder there, kind of buried, but on the floor. There's the boys up ahead, and uh, that's the end that they're reporting, but it, is it sort of like a stope at the bottom or just ends? Cool. The bottom sort of breaks off room there to the left. There's a timber holding up uh, the ceiling there. And uh, there's the chamber over there where it ends. Well, the downhill angle, folks, if you look at the walls, uh, the actual rock strata, to use a fancy term, if that's even correct, follows the same angle that they dug at. So that could be a suspect in, in why it's at this particular degree. But yeah, that's that's how it ends down there. And here's looking back up at the, uh, the opening. There's the ceiling. It's got all that scraggy rock that looks almost like aggregate concrete. And then you come over here and it turns to this deep brown, chocolatey brown like rock. And then there's that ceiling like material that's just absolutely flat. And it, it, it breaks that way too, because there's pieces all over the floor, all the way down. And there's a piece there ready to break as well. Yeah, that piece is ready just to, to fall. I don't even know what's holding it. It's cracked all the way down. Do not touch the ceiling. We're making our way back up. Oh, it's slippy. And there's those slabs that fall from the ceiling. All right, we're almost back out the mouth. And here's what it looks like. Start seeing nature, some green, some grass. And of course, back here at the mouth, looking a little closer, you've got your Bud Light, people drinking booze. Who comes to a mine to drink? <laughs> Guess it's cool to hang out by the mine opening and drink. There's a beautiful cachet of a variety of beverages. Twisted tea? Oh my goodness. So there we go. Let's do a little walk by, one last goodbye. This strange decline up here in the uh, forests outside Dorchester, New Brunswick. Cheating on Nova Scotia, on tour. 
See you next time.